Hey, what's up? A lovely good morning to everyone. I'm your host Avinash, and you're watching the Learning Destinations. Guys, today I'm going to drive one of the very useful sessions, and the session is how you can access the RDS database from the Docker container. Guys, this course I'm going to design specifically for the freshers who are very new with the RDS instances and the Docker containers. That's why in this session I'm going to cover all the topics that you can easily access your RDS database from your Docker container. Guys, one more request, those who haven't yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Okay, so now I'm going to cover the practical sessions and I'm trying to cover it very quickly. So this is my one of the instance and from there I'm going to access the RDS instances and this is one of my RDS instance. Let me show you. So this is the database. Basically it is a MariaDB database which is already running. It is an active available uh, status is available and it is active. And this is the EC2 instance where I'm going to install the Docker. And from there, I will run the Docker container. And after Docker container, then we are going to access this database from the Docker container, which is going to be run on this particular EC2 instance. But before that, there is two settings which I would like to highlight here. So if once you go in the database, just make sure that this database services and this EC2 instance services should be hosted under the same VPC, okay? So this is the by default VPC. Uh, so where my currently this database is running and this EC2 instance is also running on the default VPC. Okay, so if you see that 897F and 897F, so both of the ID is same. So it means that both uh, this RDS instance and this EC2 instance are running on the same VPC. Apart from that, uh, there is a security group which I have already created here that is called, uh, let me show you. So this is the security group called Jenkins and my this EC2 instance is also running in the same security group. Okay, so I mean uh, you can uh, you can keep uh, both these instances in different security group. What I would like to highlight here since I'm going to access this database. So the port number 3306 this port number should be open under this security group. Okay, so now I'm going to install the docker container right now i'm going to install the docker and i'm going to run the container services okay so in my case the docker is already installed here and you can check system ctl status docker you can see that it is already active and running okay so now i'm going to run the container so as of now you can see that there is no images there is no container running okay so everything blank now i'm going to run one centos image okay so i'm say centos since this image is not exist so it is going to install first the centos image and then after that it get logged in so once i log in on this container after that i will tell you that how we can access this rds instances Okay, so now you can see that we are successfully inside this particular Docker container. Okay, but before that, let me exit from here. Okay, so this is my EC2 instance currently. Okay, so let's first access this database services. Let's first access this database right from the this EC2 instance. Okay, so now I'm going to access this database. So we need to collect this endpoint first and after that we need to give mysql hyphen h and then we need to give endpoints after that user and i'm going to put the user admin okay it is saying that okay so i need to mention here password as well because i have already sent the password here right so you can see that i have successfully logged in it means that this, this database is able to communicate from this EC2 instance. It means that we can simply access this database from this EC2 instance. So from here, there is no error, right? So now I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to exit from this particular database and now I'm going to run the container and then we will access the same RDS database from the container services, okay? So let's do exit from here, okay? And uh, 
since we have already running one container services, right? Since I exit, so that's why it is in. So we need to start it. Let's start Docker start this one. So now this container is running and we can log in on this container. And after that, we will try to access this RDS instance. So guys, the container is already running and I'm going to log in on this container. So I can run the execute command. I find interactive terminal, then the container ID and I'm going to give the cell. Okay, so now I'm logged in. And since we are going to uh, access the uh, RDS database, so we need to run the MySQL command. But as of now, there is no MySQL command installed because this is the fresh container. So what we need to do, we need to install the MySQL. Okay, so, okay, no worries. So this is, uh, uh, as of now, we are getting this error because the particular repository is not yet added. And that's the reason that it is unable to fetch the MySQL repository. So don't worry, we are going to install the MySQL now. So here are the command to install the MySQL repository first. So I'm going to add the MySQL repository here. This is the simple CentOS based machines, the container which I am running currently now. And I'm going to do the yum update. This is done. Now I'm going to install the MariaDB. So the moment we will be, the moment when I will install the MariaDB, I will be able to run the MySQL command. So now I have successfully installed the MariaDB and now I am able to run the MySQL command, okay? So now let me run this MySQL hyphen H and then we can get it from here, the endpoints. Now we need to give the password. So now you can see that I am under the particular, this one, the particular container and from there I am successfully able to log in here, right? So let me see, run some queries here. And you can see that there is already one of the DB DevOps is created. Let me create one of the DB. I say create database Avinash. Okay, let's check the database. So you can see that I'm successfully able to run the queries as well from the container, right? This is the Docker container which is running and I'm successfully able to access this RDS instance from this Docker container and I am able to run the queries as well, okay? So now let's cross verify, exit from this container and log in through this EC2 instance here. This is the endpoint. I find you admin. Oh, sorry. We need to give hyphen P as well. After that password, uh, something I did wrong. Okay, so the databases. Now you can see that. This is the DB which I have created from the Docker container, right? And now I am able to see from the EC2 instance as well, right? So that exactly it clear us that this RDS instance, we can successfully able to log in 
from the Docker container as well. Okay, so this is very good tutorial for those who are very new with the RDS instance, who are very new with the cloud computing Docker container. So this is the way you just need to make sure that you should open the port 3306 inside the security group, right? And after that, you can use the RDS endpoint as a host and that's how you can log in it. One more thing you need to make sure that both the, it means the your Docker container host and the RDS instance should be referring to the same VPC, right? So if it is hosted in different VPC, then you need to make sure that there is uh, communications between the two VPCs. It means that there is a cross communications between your among two VPCs. That's how you are going to access it. So this is all for the day guys and definitely I understand that now your concept regarding how you can access the RDS instance from the Docker container is clear now. But still if you have any questions you are always feel free to ask me in the comment section. Okay guys so I am done for the day. I hope you really enjoyed these sessions. If you really enjoyed please do me a favor. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. I will see you in my next tutorial till the time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be happy. I will see you in my next tutorial till the time. Thank you so much for watching this. You have a good day guys.